Hello everyone, iOS 26 has just came out in a beta format and I installed it on my iPhone as the second generation. So let's go and see how it holds up on this particular phone. Now number one, this update came out to a very large size. It was pretty large. It was, I don't even know how I didn't screenshot it. It was about, you know, six, it was like seven gigabytes, seven to eight gigabytes on this phone. As you can see, when I went to screenshot it, it just, you know, went out. It was not this large, but it was a fairly large update. Now, this is what the UI basically looks like inside of iOS 26. So if I scroll in, you can kind of see that the elements are kind of changed all over the place. You can see that the icons here, the dock looks a little bit different as well. This is their new liquid glass UI. I think it's a cool thing. I haven't been able to demonstrate with the lock screen, like that new glass transparency. Nothing like that really changed, but otherwise it does look pretty nice for the most part. But for Apple to spend this much time talking about, I feel like it's really not that big of an update, but it looks cool. There's some new UI changes all throughout, like the Photos app looks a little bit different. As you can see, the icon at the bottom looks a little bit, you know, kind of less in the way. The phone application, things like this, also kind of replicate the same liquid glass, you know, kind of thing. So you can see that if I kind of swipe over, the iPhone SE 2 does actually do a good job at kind of still utilizing those UI elements and kind of loading them, and it isn't really that bad of an experience there. So that is the new UI. There's also lots of cool little changes all throughout. You can see that the settings application looks very different. If I go and zoom out, you can kind of see that the icon at the bottom has this new search bar here. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess we're going to kind of go into it. But it seems like all throughout, there's like little tiny changes in their whole entire UI, which actually looks pretty interesting to say the least. Now in the notification drawer, you can see there's already some bugs. So it's going to be a little different kind of zooming in and zooming out. You can see that type of, you know, the apps kind of come and go. Hopefully they end up fixing that because that's not really that good of a sign. On the top, you can see that the control center is not also looking that good either. And this is the problem with the glass interface because it will kind of bleed in. So it doesn't really look that great. It's hard to tell what's what. Hopefully Apple will make those changes in the future as well. Speaking about the phone app, you can see there's a new UI here. So it does look a little bit nicer. The cool thing here is that within the iPhone calling, when you're calling somebody, it does actually now give you that hold assist. So it can actually hold calls for you. So if you were put on hold, you can go on hold and you can just have it take the calls for you at that point, which is actually pretty sick. iMessage also got some pretty big updates here too. So if we go inside of the iMessage application, it does actually look quite a bit different. So you can see the search bar is now at the bottom and not at the top. And now you can do things inside of iMessage, like you can go ahead and have a custom background inside of these chats. Also, if you're wanting to, you can send out a poll inside of iMessage as well, which is actually really cool. CarPlay also got some cool updates. It looks much nicer. You can also add widgets inside of it. We also have Apple Music, Maps, and Wallet applications that got a few updates here and there. And then we also got under Apple Games, there's a new Apple Games option here. So it actually goes through and it basically allows you to kind of, you know, have all your games in one area, which is actually pretty cool. So there are some cool changes. If you kind of hold down on an application here, you can see that it does kind of still give you some more elements here. You can click here to kind of make applications bigger or smaller if they have a widget. Also, if you click here, if you click on the edit portion, so if you go and click on edit home screen, you can see if you go and tap on an application, if you click on edit in the top right, you can go through and still click on customize. And I think this is how you can access the glass part portion. So we're gonna have to kind of see what ends up happening in the future. But as of right now, that's pretty much iOS 26. There's going to be lots of other improvements in the future. So I'll make sure I cover those, but for now, it's kind of the update that we're getting. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.